Well, there's another good reason I didn't put this thing in yet. It's leaking a little bit. Plus, if I crank it up, I put my hand on the back of the motor and I could feel it shaking like hell. And I was kind of afraid of this fucking piece of shit flywheel I got. First one. For sure. This is gonna be the problem. I guess lux. Yeah, good lux with this junk. I'm sure it was made in fucking China. More than likely. Anyways, you crank it up, it shakes like hell, so about 90% positive it's the flywheel, so. Made in, made in the USA. Summit racing. Billy. Damn. It should be a better one than was in it. I'm gonna swap it out. See if it solves the shaking problem while I got it out. It's the perfect time to do all this. I'll take these exhausts back out of the way. And Pop this transmission off right quick. And you got about seven bolts and everything. And the starter, once I get all that off, uh, put this new flywheel on and put it back together and crank it up and see if it solves the shaking it's got. put the starter back on and crank it up and see if it fix the vibration. Solve the vibration. Now I got other issues. But I ain't put this thing in nothing yet. Yeah, I don't know how that's magically puking out now. No, I ain't even got a cap on the radio, so I ain't like it built any pressure up. Where the hell's it coming from? I'll figure it out. At least to solve the vibration I'm giving them this piece of shit flywheel if you go to buy your flywheel make damn sure you don't buy one of these looks you want a shaking ass car don't all right i'm gonna be on this one y'all 
Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this. I got this old Mustang I've been getting parts for. I'm going to do a hydraulic clutch conversion on it. It's going to have a five speed T5. And eventually, look like a car and be able to go down the road again. It's in shambles. It's been tore apart for about 10 years now. So. Yeah. Slow, slowly but surely. I gotta fix this. I got a whole new panel. This whole panel here I got to fix that. And the same in the front. Got a new cow. It's, it ain't been welded in yet. Upper and lowers. Got a new power brake booster. This car's got four wheel disc brakes on it. I converted that 30 years ago and put quarters on it. I drove it for a long time until that motor busted. And that was the end of it. And it's been sitting ever since. So yeah, 27 years it's been sitting tore apart for 10. A whole shelf full of Mustang parts and 90% of these boxes Mustang parts so I'm trying to get up and get a bit of stuff to work with to start with that way I'm not having to stop and turn around and get more stuff because every time you ship something they damage it no matter what you do so you kind of screwed on sheet metal little stuff no problem I can't beat it up too bad any sheet metal you get, <laughs> taking your chances. Got a clutch. Mm, it smells like exhaust pipe in here with the door closed after running that motor. Open the door. Yeah, this is the components to the firewall. This box opened up. I'll just pee. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Let's shake it the camera. Damn. Jibbles to convert the... Swap it to hydraulic. We had a five speed in it before. We had a clutch cable rigged up in there and the brake booster kind of took up that spot now, so that's why it's getting converted to hydraulic. Find some more leaks. See what the hell's going on with this. I don't understand why it just all of a sudden went to puking antifreeze. I'll figure it out. At least, like I said, at least the shaking's gone. Y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I guess I'll see y'all on the next video.